uh, swine flu again depends on which category of patients uh, you are dealing with. We patients are divided into three categories. Category A is the ones with just a cold, cough, fever, block nose, or running nose. So they are given symptomatic treatment and nothing else, just like any fever. So for the fever, they would get paracetamol, which is the safest medicine. And uh, for the cold or cough, decongestant medicines or drops, anti-allergic medicines, which would reduce the congestion in the nose. It's very important for the child or for the person to breathe from the nose because if they are not able to breathe from the nose, cold air goes directly into the lungs. And also the air is not purified, the job that the nose is supposed to do. So they can get more severe symptoms and pneumonia. The next category of patient is the patients where the fever is very high or prolonged, uh, the cough is very severe. The patient because of the disease is getting tired, becoming very weak, not able to stand, not able to walk not able to eat. So these patients are given Tamiflu but only if they are in the high risk group as discussed earlier. If they are in the high risk like very small children, elderly, those with uh, any other comorbid conditions or with uh, a pregnant lady, so they are given Tamiflu even if they are not very sick. Tamiflu is uh, Oseltamivir, that is the trade name, it is an antiviral drug. It is available as a capsule. For children, it is also available as a syrup, though apparent, there is a shortage now in India. And it, it works uh, by killing the, the virus. The next category is category C patients, those who have the severe pneumonia. So severe pneumonia would mean those patients, and who are hospitalized, obviously. If you have severe pneumonia, you have to be hospitalized because you cannot manage, you will have low oxygen will have high breathing, you will not be able to eat. So those are the conditions who are given Tamiflu and hospitalized. Now regarding the starting of the Tamiflu, Tamiflu is be works best if it starts as, if the treatment is started as early as possible, preferably within 42 hours, 48 hours, two days. But even if it is given late, it is better, better than not giving it at all. So even if the patient comes late to you, from the time of the starting of the symptom, it's still better to give it rather than not give it. It does two things. It uh, reduces the severity of the disease and it reduces the duration of the disease. However, people who do not qualify to get Tamiflu should not, uh, should not demand it because uh, there are a lot of side effects of the drug and there is, you have to balance the, the pros and cons of giving it. So if you if you come within the, if you if you qualify, you should take it as a decision.